meet Dr. R. Padmavati, Madurai Corporation's first woman doctor and much-loved obstetrician. She turned 100 years old on April 27, 2021. In the 1900s, Dr. Padmavati's father was a well-known licensed medical practitioner. He was perturbed by the plight of women in the region as they chose to suffer than consult a male doctor. Thereafter, of Padmavati's nine siblings, five sisters and two brothers went on to join the medical profession. While there was family pressure to get her married at 15, her father resisted and got her enrolled at the American College Madurai for intermediate. Dr. Padmavati completed MBBS from Madras Medical College in 1949. She then joined Government Erskine Hospital in Madurai as house surgeon where her father too was working as senior civil surgeon. At 28, she created a flutter on Madurai streets, a lady doctor who could also drive a car. This was an uncommon combination in those days. It was her father who believed in equality and empowerment and motivated her to become a role model for young girls. Dr. Padmavati was selected as an assistant civil surgeon and was posted as medical officer at the Kodaikanal Government Hospital. But her father wanted her to serve women in their hometown. And therefore, she became the first lady doctor to join the then Madurai municipality in 1950. She soon became the superintendent of all the municipal maternity homes in Madurai. Her popularity soared as she helped in safe delivery of thousands of babies through normal childbirth. Dr. Padmavati's success story also includes a career of many firsts. In 1969, she went to Poland for advanced training in maternity and child health sponsored by the World Health Organization. She was among the three Indian doctors selected for the training. Upon returning, she pioneered and shaped mass maternity and child health programs. She integrated the two and subsequently the central government adopted this as a health policy. She also introduced the domiciliary deliveries wherein health visitors assisted safe deliveries in the homes of pregnant women who could not visit hospitals in rural areas. Dr. Padmavati got the Corporation Council sanction an exclusive 24-7 standby ambulance that could rush pregnant women to the government hospital. She fondly recollects the vacuum apparatus she got from Warsaw. It was a game-changer for her as she carried out many vacuum-assisted safe deliveries of babies in Tamil Nadu. Dr. Padmavati then built a 10-bed nursing home come residence with the support of her husband, G. Ramaswamy. It was called the Padmalaya Health Clinic and it still stands basking in her reputation. It is perhaps the only health centre without a theatre for caesarean operations. Not only was she the choice of the commoners, but was also sought after by several VIP families. Arthritis has restricted her mobility over the last eight years, but her zeal for life has not reduced. Even now, she wakes up at the crack of dawn and goes about her day singing hymns, reading newspapers, watching television, doing physiotherapy and having her meals on time. Dr. Padmavati wishes the pandemic ends soon so that she can resume her outings in the wheelchair.